Yep. Coach, have you had time to kind of assess this season? I have had some time to assess the season, and uh, first and foremost, I'm really proud of these kids and what they accomplished this year. When you look back at the entire season and everything this group of kids did, this is going to go down as one of the best, if not the best season in the history of this baseball program, and it is one of the best seasons in the history of this program. I mean, just look at the accolades that these kids did. I mean, 45 wins, ranked as high as 7th in America from start to finish. We were in a poll in the top 25 in the country. So those are uh, some pretty outstanding qualities of an outstanding group of kids. Certainly everybody is disappointed, you know, that we didn't get to Omaha. I mean, we're three wins away from it. But although that disappointment, there's no regrets. That's what I explained to the team. I want, it's okay to be disappointed because we fell short of getting to Omaha, but there shouldn't be any regrets. Every single person in this baseball program, these kids did everything they could. They have nothing but nothing to ever to hang their heads about. Just be proud of what they accomplished. And as their coach, I'm very proud of this season. In the last few days, six players get drafted. Does that kind of tell you where this program is and, and kind of where you guys are headed? There's no question. I mean, to have, to have six players drafted was great. All of those guys deserve it. Uh, all of those guys had great seasons for us and had great careers for us. So it was an exciting day for each one of those guys individually and for our baseball team. Coach, the, the last two games against Stony Brook, you talk about the disappointment yeah. that your players felt. Did, I mean, do they still feel like we, we had it, we could have? We could have gotten this. I think so. I mean, I think if you were to ask them, I think our players, you know, certainly feel like, you know, we can play with anybody in the country. And I think that was their mentality and their mindset all year uh, is that we can play with anybody in the country. And I think these kids showed it and they proved it, that this baseball team, the 2012 UCF baseball team, can and did play with anybody in the country. And, the, you know, you look at it, they sustained it the entire year. I mean, start to finish, we were ranked in the top 25 in the country. Not a lot of teams in the country can say that. Uh, yeah, but certainly there was some disappointment. When you talk about the Coral Gables Regional, at the end of the day, Stony Brook played better than us. I mean, they did. And to their credit, they were a very good ball club. I mean, they had a lot of draft picks themselves these last couple of days. Uh, they're a very good club. They were a veteran team. The one thing that really stands out to what Stony Brook did a great job of in that regional, obviously they swung the bats. I mean, they averaged 10 runs a game, but they got big hit after big hit after big hit. We talk about a lot in our program, two out, you know, two out clutch hits, two out RBIs, two outs on the mound making the pitch. And Stony Brook consistently got those two out hits, it seemed like, every single time. And not just against us. I mean, they continually did it. You look at the game in Missouri State, you know, when they scored all those runs late to get to the championship game against us. I think it was a two-out bases loaded clearing double. So to their credit, Stony Brook has an outstanding team. They're extremely well coached. And unfortunately for us, they just played better than us. I told our kids that needs to be the motivation moving forward to everybody to understand as proud as I am of their efforts, and I'm very proud of it, we need to get better. Yeah, that motivation for what is next. What is next? We need to take the next step. Look, every year, you know, this past year we took the next step. We did not win a regional, but we got to a regional championship. Next year we need to win a regional championship and get to Omaha. I mean, that's it. That needs to be every person's mindset. Next year there's gonna, we're going to have our own challenges. There's going to be different challenges. We lose a lot of great players off this team. We lose a lot of great players for the last three to four years have, have made this program what it is. Just look at all of those guys that have been here for a long time. So they help build this program. So it's going to be, you know, it'll be some new faces out there, but some great returning players too. The next step is we need to get to Omaha. That's the next step. How hard is it to get those players that are coming in to, to not just kind of take on, oh, well, we're a good team and, and realize that they have to work hard to get to that next step? I hope, that, I hope the last game against Stony Brook motivates the returning players. Because, um, again, it's a fine line as a coach. I never want to take away, nor will I, you know, what they accomplished. And at the end of the day, if you're a fan of UCF baseball, you simply need to stand back and look at what these kids did. It's all about them. This, again was the best or arguably one of the best seasons in the entire history of this baseball program. That's pretty good. But what's happened is that, which is a great thing, is the expectations for our program have been raised to the highest level of college baseball. And I've created those. These kids have created those. That's great. That's the way it should be. None of us would be here, anybody with this program, player, coach, unless the expectations now are to get to Omaha. Now there's a lot that needs to happen to get there to do that, and we need to get better. We just need to play better later in the season, and there's areas that we can get better at. So all areas of the program need to continue to grow and develop, but I feel very good about what these kids accomplished this year.
How much of a challenge is it for you to keep the guys that you recruit to come here? You lost some this week in the draft. The major league draft is the biggest challenge for any major college baseball program, and anybody will tell you that. Um, you, it's just, but it's a reality. I mean, it is what it is. It's a reality um, that in order to get to the highest level of college baseball, you've got to get the best players in the country. And we've got the best players in the country. There, most of them will have an opportunity and a choice. And that choice is: Do I play college baseball or do I go the professional baseball route? Uh, it's something that you're always going to face. It's not going to stop this year. It's going to be next year. It's going to be every year. So, at the end of the day, it's pretty simple the way I look at it in my mind. And I just look at it and say, listen, does a kid want the college experience or not? I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Uh, yes, as a coach, you need to know what their dollar figure is and what it's going to be. As a college coach, the only thing that you can hope is that these families and the players stick to the dollar figure that they told you. And then when teams and when players do that, that's all pro ball wants because that's what they want to know. They just want to know, hey, listen, what's the figure that you'd sign for? And as a college coach, that's what I want to know. What's the figure? And then you can adjust accordingly. But uh, listen, at the end of the day, it simply comes down to the kids want to go to college or play pro ball. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to both. I don't try to persuade anybody. I just want to say, listen, we've got a great opportunity here, and I hope they take it. This is a big summer from a de uh, development standpoint for some of these guys. We have some players heading to the different summer leagues, Cape Cod and so forth. This is a big summer because I just said that the, this is a huge summer for our returning players, and it's a huge summer because, you know, again, this is, pretty, this is a tough feeling there. You know, standing on that field in Miami, all of our kids will tell you that. So it's all what you do with it, and we've got to get better. The only way a program or a team gets better is if the returning players get better. That's it. You can recruit as great as you want, and you need to recruit great players. But for the majority of teams in the country, no matter what sport you're in, the returning players have to get better. That's where it starts. And I don't care if, they're, if you're Donnie Jones, you're Coach O'Leary, or me, they tell you the same thing. Your returning players have to get better. You look at our team this year, look how many kids got better. You know, look at Joe Rogers. Joe Rogers has always been great. Joe Rogers was clearly better this year. He had his best year. Thus, you know, he's a fifth-round draft pick. You know, lots of guys had great years. But all of the kids in our program, you know, need to come back better. What was the highlight of this season? Can you pinpoint one or two moments that uh, you're going to remember about this 2012 bunch? Well, I tell you, one highlight is just you know is that for me is just the consistency. You know, really, that's a big part of it is the consistency in which these guys played and the leadership. Those are two defining qualities of this team that I'll always remember: the consistency how they played the game and the leadership amongst this team. The leadership in our clubhouse was just fantastic. You know, when you see guys, the way they play the game every day, the way they showed up, and these guys legitimately showed up on a mission each day to try to get this team to Omaha. That's why they were so emotional after you lose. When you invest everything you have in something, you're going to show emotions. So that clearly was an exciting time. As far as an actual moment, um, I really think, although it wasn't uh, the outcome we wanted, that game, that championship for the regular season against Rice was a heck of a moment. It really was. That was, um, you know, you sit back and you see the crowd that day. You listen to the crowd. Uh, you see, you know, the, the, the media coverage for it. And we were playing on the final day for the first time ever against Rice uh, for, for a championship. And that was, I think, for all of our players, and I can tell you as a coach, that was a special moment. Uh, although we didn't win the game, but you can see really at that time how far this program's come in four years, not just the, the results on the field, but look at the crowd. You look up at the bleachers, you look at all of it. So I thought that was a pretty, that was a great time. From a, from a building a program standpoint, building blocks, just a taste of that next step, is sometimes that all it takes? Um, I think it's important, you know, to, to have a taste of it. There's no question. Last year was big because we got to a regional. I mean, that's the first step. you got to get to the postseason. Um, and obviously, you know, we got there. So I, I do. I, I think that certainly fuels it. But I don't think, I think at the end of the day, you know, what, how you continue these building blocks is this. Number one, You've got to have an administration that continues to stay behind us, which we do, you know, in continuing to move this. It's great what we did with a facility, and it needs to keep coming. I mean, it needs to keep coming. It's not, you know, we're not staying put. If you look at it, everything has continued to build each year. And number two, we need to continue to get great players. I mean, that's the truth. Listen, you're a great coach if you've got great players, okay? And anybody tells you different is wrong, okay? You need to have great players to be a great coach. And we have had great players in this program, and we need to continue with that, and I feel confident that we are. Yes, sir. Thanks, Coach. Watching the
Stony Brook LSU series on TV this weekend? I do not know if I'm going to be watching that series or not. I'll tell you what, I've done a couple of radio interviews in Baton Rouge already this week. As a matter of fact, I just did a, uh, a radio interview with the, with the ESPN station in Baton Rouge uh, about an hour ago. So uh, I've talked to him a lot about it. Look, um, I don't know if I'll be watching. I will tell you this, okay? That'll probably be the only games that I will be watching um, simply because we played Stony Brook. And obviously, you know, Palmineri is one of my closest friends in, in, uh, in LSU, having been there. So I will be, I will be at least um, following that game. I don't know if I'll be watching it, but I'll be following that game, you know, with, with, a, lot of, uh, you know, with a lot of emotion. Thanks, Chris.